Let's start this uh, by the parting setup wizard and master part. Uh, you can import ideas from another file or you can open existing uh, simulator uh, document. In this case, I'm going to choose uh, import and I'm going to import the link to ideas and then uh, the work file names is the work file and create a new folder to put all the parting document into this folder and then and, uh, apply shrinkage you can edit this shrink, uh, shrinkage later if you want just click OK to import the part and copy the master part into the work uh, file here you are so Simulator will automatically import the file, the original file will save as the master file and you will copy the master into another document, the name is work file to do the work. Next I'm going to show you how to use a direction analysis to find the orientation uh, of this uh, part here and let's change click here the point at the back select syndicate and the connect center select uh, somewhere here and you can see now I'm supposed to have the correct on orientations the zero degree all is good and but this area is minus 22 degree is something wrong with this uh, surface here and here also and also this surface here the angle is uh, is not correct you can show the dialog red color means that undercut so what happened this is because the surface normal direction is is not correct this happened uh, especially if you import IGS surface uh, just to show you the open edge you can see the whole model is not uh, st stitched together it is a surface file so let's off the edge uh, to solve the su uh, surface normal problems you go to the select the object directions and change auto and select one of the black face change arrow directions and then select all the face and click apply and it will fix uh, the surface normal it will flip all black surface normal to the other directions so make sure all the surface uh, color is, is gray not white and this will give you a correct angle reading ok now let's do analysis again change the directions to this one to this face and now you can see here no more red color because the surface normal has been corrected by the object direction functions this area here uh, is correct this area we have some undercut that we're going to solve it later on. Now let's create the works yes. Works yes is the reference uh, uh, UCS of your uh, insert. Okay. You can see now the apparently this UCS the part is good oriented at this UCS so we will create a new one so uh, just go to the tools and select MOOCs UCS and it will select it will automate select all the surface and of course the orientation is not correct so I click here to change I will follow this interface and now the orientation is, is, is there is correct and then you can choose which point you want to locate. So I choose the bottom. 
and click OK. And immediately it will activate the active UCS. So you can go top view and plant view. Uh, you can see now the orientation is correct, but from the top view, the part is not rotated uh, correctly. So next I will create a tangent plane, main plane. Maybe I will create a YZ. Uh, I'm going to use this YZ to check the angles on this. You select the plane and then and this space here. So it is roughly 46.08. So control C to copy this value. And now let's go back to the edit these features. Click here and put in this value so that I can rotate the UCS. Let's go to top view. Now you can see the slider area, the direction is parallel to X. And this orientation is correct. Let's hide this. And I can uh, use this UCS filter to select all the UCS to display. Let's say Office 2 on only the work. Now I'm going to show you how to split this part into three directions, the cavity, core and the slider, uh, by selecting this function here, quick split. Um, because this, uh, what we have here is, is not a solid object, it's a surface part, so I will use this option, visual analysis. Change both directions and vertical face. Temporary, I will want it to be long to the top. And the direction before Z is correct. And just click apply, and immediately it will split this part into two directions. And here you have an uh, extra step pages showing you the uh, sets, different sets. Yeah. So next I'm going to create another one for the slider. In this case it will be the X directions. And I will not analyze all phase, ignore the assigned phase. And only one directions and just start analysis to get this third set and click OK. And sometimes the, the splitting is not 100% but uh, at least 90 over percent is done. So next I, I need to attach this phase, just pick and press middle button okay, at this space here and it will automatically attach to this set. And another one, we have one more phase that is below the slider, again select and press middle button over here to attach the face to this slider sets and after after split uh, here at the uh, parting tree you can actually uh, change the name if you want rename yeah so I will, for now I just keep the same name using the same name Next, I will show you how to fix the undercut phase and some vertical phase. Uh, first, you can click, use the uh, quick split, click quick split, and uh, under the drop angle here, you can check. Okay. From here, show a dialog. The red color means undercut. So I can see over here, I have one surface uh, that is undercut. So. What I'm going to do to fix this is to go to face, select this split uh, by CO8, select this one, make sure the exact directions, click OK, and the uh, face is automatic split by the parting line. Right. So next, 
go to quick split again. Uh, I will select this space, attach the call sign, pressing the button. And you can check the uh, drop angle again. You can see now everything is okay. There's no more red color. Okay, now. Next, uh, we have another problem here. This is a very deep wall and it is 90 degree. Uh, so we need to fix this area. And we're going to use a solid pepper option to do it. So before that, we need to do some stitching. We only need to stitch the, those relevant area, only this area. And then go to the solid pepper and I'm going to choose it by neutral control. Select this control and make sure it's Z. And this is the face. And I'll put one degree and preview. And click OK. So next you can check the drop angle again. You can see now it become one degree. Now let's create some shot of surface. Uh, go to quick split and go to first. I will attach this face to belong to the call site. Okay. And next, I'm going to create a shot of surface over here. Uh, the function to, to do that, you can use this face function here, modify by sketcher, select this face, and then just edit the sketch, select here, right click, pick the loop, select, delete the whole loop, and then I'm going to close the sketch here, and keep originals. This is the sharp of surface, and another one here. Again, same, modified by sketcher. Select delete this and this and select this. Right click, pick loop to delete and then close this. Okay. So now I'm going to assign the attribute for this two face here. Go to quick split and you can see now the two face not belong to any sets. So I'm going to select this and this and click parting attribute and press me the button. Uh, I'll cancel the auto attachment, use the manual attachment and then select the first direction and second direction and click OK. And now the face is, you can see it appears at both sides. Now let's preview the parting line. So you can go to the parting curve, click on the parting line preview. The red color one is the internal parting line, the blue one is the external parting line. You can uh, off the display over here by using this tree. And now I'm going to off the display of the split uh, one and the tree. And then we'll create some uh, parting surface here. So maybe we start from here. I'm going to use a composite curve, uh, right click composite curve, and I'll change to a long open edge from this to somewhere like this. And you can see the change is, is, is at the wrong direction. So let's click this one and change to one by one here. And then OK. And then go to face straight. Make a straight face uh, according to the x directions. Maybe 150. And OK. We create this button surface. Next, I'll create a button surface here. From this uh, long open edge to this, and you can see again uh, the change 
is not good. Let's change one by one. Uh, no. Let's combine from this section here. Here, change along uh, open edge to this. And let's sweep. And this one we will sweep according to the y directions. Okay. And next, about this one, composite curve again along the edge from here to here. And let's sweep again, right click sweep, and according to y. Okay. So again, composite curve from this edge to this and sweep and according to an X to create a parting surface like this. And to close this area, we can use the a blend functions. Face, select this edge and this edge, right click, use the blend, and then we're gonna assign this. Boundary as a uh, this edge as a boundary. Select this. Select this. You can see the edge is longer than this two end point. So to solve this is easy. Uh, what I need to do is just stitch here, yeah? stitch all this rela related face together, and then go to blend again. Select this two, blend. And right click, select a boundary. Now, this is a boundary. Now it's okay. And then we need to adjust some slope, tension, and this will be tangent. And the external parting surface is done. The External public surface it will automatic attach, you know, assign the attribute. If it fails to do it, you you have to do it yourself. But now it's, everything is okay. Next we we will create the public surface for the slider. Uh let's temporary off. This and the part interface also, and show only the slider and go to front. And I'm going to create a sketch over here, sketcher uh, on this face here. And reference this to be my reference, and then the, I'll cancel all the constraints. Skip all the constraints and sketch a box roughly, and then apply the constraint uh, manually. So this and this will be parallel, and this and this will be parallel also. This and this will be 90 degree. This and this again will be uh, 90 degree. And next. Uh, the in the dimension maybe 10 over here this to this edge is 10 and this to this to be 10 also and this to this to be 10 so after we have this next I'm going to use that face modified by sketcher uh, delete the internal loop, thick loop, and go to add geometry, add this geometry, and keep our genus, exit, and then you just do a strip and make sure you change direction to the X, and OK. Let's show the core site. So next, I'm going to uh, give this part here uh, the cavity sac, the depth. So I'm going to go to solid depth. 
Uh, first, let's stitch, right click stitch these two face together and then go solid depot and choose neutral plane. This is my plane and upwards and this face and this face, these two face. We're gonna apply capital and let's put 10 degree and preview. So now two sides is okay. Then click OK. So we'll make this two side capital at the cavity side. So after that, uh, is to split this first. I will split this by this plane here and. Again, split this face by this two face here, and after that, let's remove this. And one more thing, you might have some problems uh, for this face. Ah, we need to split here also. This face split by this plane. Okay, split by the flat plane. After you split, you can see here you have a small edge. The surface has some problem. A small edge, a long edge, extra edge over here. So I'm going to fix this problem. To fix this, you can always go to modify by sketcher. Go to this one. I uh, will change the remove all engineers. You can see this is an extra edge. Let's delete this and we will close manually this two point and this two point and exit to solve the surface problem. So after we split the face, next is, is to assign the attribute. Assign the attribute and you can see here we have some problem with this uh, a small edge for this face. Later we're gonna fix this. Uh, first let's assign the attribute and go button attribute. I'm gonna select this three face and the first direction let's show the cavity side and I uh, will choose manual assignment cavity side and also the slider then click OK to assign the attribute for the street face to our remaining face again the attribute between the core and the sliders now everything is OK and now let's check this face we have a uh, uh, problem face here, so the face modified by sketcher and this one uh, let's delete this and this uh, let's manually close this two edge uh, we cannot have uh, two separate groups uh, separate uh, loop for a single surface. Let's cancel this. So in this case, we have to split this split by this. Let's add a plane. Okay. Again, next. Uh, let's trim this. Trim away the small edge. And now so everything is okay. Okay, everything is done. The so all the external surface is done. Next, we're going to create the internal button surface. First, we need to create internal button curve. It is easy. Just select a OK, and you will create all the internal button line. Then from this line, we we'll we will create an internal button surface. Button surface internal. Then click OK. And 
all the internet bodies of faith has been uh, closed. Next, uh, uh, what I'm going to do is to create a stock. So let's go to Sketcher, Sketch on the screen, go to Top View, Sketch a box uh, like this, exit. And then I'm going to create a new stock. Uh, go to Tools, New Stock. Okay. So 100 by 100 is okay. Change the mix mode, and this is our stock. You can see here, right? Stock. So after you have created the stock, it is now ready to export uh, the active components. Let's save first, and then to export the active component, you just click uh, export more component, and just click yes. Then each set, quick split set, is export to an, uh, one file. Okay. Now let's open up this all this one two three file. Now the window title horizontal. Okay, we we will look at this file one by one. Okay, so let's look at the split one. Split one, it will be the cavity. So go to two, active two, cut and stitch, and click OK, and then select active two, cut, and click the side. And this will be our cavity. Okay, the split number two will be the core. Again, go to this file, go to Active 2, cut and stitch, OK. No need to select anything. Then go active 2, cut. And this will be our core. And this spider, same. Uh, cut and stitch, OK. And then go to cut. And this is our slider. Let's see. Now let's say your customer send you another IGS file and let's go and import the IGS file. Uh, do a new file, the lib2 minus EC IGS. This is the update the customer send you. It is the IGS file, surface file. So I'm going to update this. To update, uh, you need to go to the work to back to this memory of this show in the active phase. And on the ECO guide, and the documents you can uh, create some uh, documentations if required. So then you can put a number, let's say zero zero one plus. No, first changes uh, easy one you can tap any description you want and you can also uh, put uh, some pictures if you want get some pictures okay and you can attach some file if you want uh, maybe I just file then click, click OK so this will save the information uh, and let others know what have you done, uh, what kind of update you have to apply.
And next, go to add update the work part. This is a master. And go to select the ECO part. That will be this lead to PC. And just click OK. And the system automatic will uh, place the object, apply the scaling and things like that. Uh, what you need to do, just press me the button to accept everything, then click OK and everything is updated. Okay, so after we update this, next we need to uh, rerun again the uh, split direction. So you just edit this, go to edit directions, uh, ignore the assign phase, start the analysis to apply again. And also for the call side, also edit and uh, start analysis and apply again. Same also with the uh, slider side. Again, start analysis. Okay, and then double confirm uh, the directions. Okay, so we need to attach this one again to this area. So everything seems good. Then next is to check the parting surface. Uh, we need to check the parting surface. Of the stock, and you can see we have a uh, one uh, big hole coming in, a new one. So we need to update the uh, internal parting surface. To do this is easy. You, what you need to do is to find the these two features, the internal parting curve and the surface. Right click, delete these features, and then create again the parting curve internal. And then the button is up in internal. OK. Check and splitting. Everything is good. Exit. And then go to show the stock. Then save. So after save, next step. Is to update the active components. To do this is easy. You just go activate the maybe I will I will uh, update the split number one this cavity and just click the update icon here and it will update and also the core update and update and also the slider to update the component. 